Yeah, District Leader Steve tells me that the vote here tonight is part of recovery efforts from the pandemic and that moving forward, these remote learning days will be used sparingly. This change is being met with disappointment and praise. They just were robbed. A Wake County parent telling me remote learning didn't work for her kids. She's happy the Wake County School Board is voting tonight to adopt a state law revision, which would limit remote learning to just five days or 30 hours in an emergency situation. With the school calendar this year, they have, instead of trying to add more in person learning days, they have gone the opposite way and are trying to add more early release days and remote learning days. And I just think it's better for the kids to learn in the classroom. This grandparent has a different perspective. He did so well. Her grandson suffers from anxiety and has been thriving in a virtual environment. He could do it at his pace. He could do it in his time frame. He could ask questions when he could formulate them in his mind. And it was perfect. He really excelled. The North Carolina Department of Public Instruction looked into the effects of remote learning from the pandemic. A report released in March shows there was a negative impact for all students, for all grades, for almost every subject. The report notes that pre-existing disparities have increased, the gap widening between economically disadvantaged students and the general population of students, especially in fourth grade reading, fifth grade math, and the sciences. The Wake County School District says it needs to work now on getting students back up to speed. And it's incumbent upon us to identify individually for each student exactly what their needs are, address any gaps they may have, and ensure that they recover quickly and can move forward long term and be successful. The district says it also wants to focus on offering teachers support as they too have been challenged and especially uh, have been stretched rather thin these last few years. For Live and Carry, Elena Athens, ABC 11 Eyewitness News. Clearly you're finding mixed feelings uh, across Wake County tonight. We'll be tracking that school board discussion through the evening. Elena, thank you.